me have some minor news. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm very calm about it. Um, Jeff Gordon will be returning to NASCAR in a car. This may seem like minor news to you, but as a Jeff Gordon fan, I am very excited. And I'm going to try to not get too riled up or over it because it is just the iRacings. While we have had fun with it, I'm trying to contain myself. But anytime Jeff Gordon gets back on a track in NASCAR, I am happy that he is on the track. Now, 2016 was just such a weird scenario with Dale Jr. getting hurt. Like, I, like you don't want to see anyone get hurt, but when he was back in the car, I was rooting for him. 10 out of 10, every single lap, it's like, right now, like, this Sunday, you know, I got my favorite drivers, right? You know, I got Chase Elliott, I got Joey Gase, Timmy Hill, Matt DiBenedetto. No, scoot side, Jeff Gordon takes priority. Like, dude. I'm freaking pumped. I'm trying not to like lose my mind here because I'm just trying not to. I am freaking excited that Jeff Gordon's coming back. Like, look, look at this hat here. The four-time champion Hall of Famer. Goat. I consider him the goat because I'm biased, but he's coming back for Talladega. Uh, it was announced today on a broadcast, some uh, Wednesday night racing action, and he was calling the race, and they told him, or I guess they had talked about it and Jeff Gordon finally found a rig and he's gonna be racing on Sunday I don't know if they're gonna run the T-Rex paint scheme but there's a picture going around about it so that's why it's a thumbnail that's why it's over my face right now but oh my gosh man I'm gonna be rooting so hard for Jeff I know it's just eye racing and I know it doesn't count towards anything but dude if Jeff Gordon wins just imagine could you imagine the viewers are down. Here, here's my theory for it. I think that they're bringing Gordon back. Like, I love Gordon back, and I, I love that it's happening. But I got a small theory. I don't know if it's true or not. But the views went down last week. We went back under a million, or uh, yeah, a million last week to like 921,000. So they're going to try to get some more viewers in by throwing Gordon in there. Um, but yeah, that'll definitely pull some eyes in. A lot of fans stopped watching after Gordon retired. Um,. I think that'll pull some eyes in. It's at Talladega. Dale Jr. and Jeff Gordon are going to be racing each other again at Talladega. If that doesn't get the ha the hairs on the back of your neck standing, I don't know what does. I'm pretty pumped. I'm not showing it, but I'm very pumped internally. It's like, it's 9 o'clock at night. I really don't want to wake up my neighborhood because I'm probably going to do that tomorrow at 2 a.m. anyways with the Clone Wars. So, uh, I'd rather not torture my neighborhood two days in a row um but yeah i'm happy i'm very happy i uh, big jeff gordon fan anytime he's on the track i was at his 800th start towels back there i've showed it to you before uh i got a car sitting here i'm terrible with this pointing with the camera right there there's a jeff gordon car um i got a bunch of them up there got a bunch of them in a different room I got a lot of Jeff Gordon memorabilia. Got some shirts, hats, uh, collectibles. But, dude, I'm excited. If Jeff Gordon wins, I will definitely not hold back. Um, I don't know what he's going to be running. I don't know if you can run two number 24s in iRacing, if he'll run like a 124, or if he'll run the 46. Remember, there's those pictures. He was almost at the number 46. If he'll run that car, I don't know what the paint scheme is. It's obviously going to be a Chevy. No matter what he runs, it's going to be a Chevy for Hendrick. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I, like, Exalt has always been with him, so I'm pretty sure Exalt is going to be on the car. What I really want to see, here's what I want to see for the paint scheme. So someone brought this up on Twitter. You've got the flames that are iconic. You've got the rainbow that's iconic. You've even had some pretty good drive-in hunger schemes, right? And even the more recent Exalt schemes have been pretty dang good. The one I want to see... There's this one from 2012, I believe, when DuPont was turning into Exalta. I don't know the details. Um, they made some final tribute cards to DuPont or whatnot. And there's a picture, or there's a car that came out as a diecast, but it was never on the track. The first half of the car is the rainbow, right? With the DuPont on the hood and the rainbows. And then it slowly transitions into the flames on the back. I want them to run that on the Camaro. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. It's happening at Talladega. So Talladega this Sunday, Jeff Gordon will be back. I am beyond excited. 
and I am ready to see this. If he wins, I'm going to lose my mind, even though it's just eye racing. Uh, anytime he gets back on the track, I'm thrilled. I'll root for him to win. Um, dude, anytime Jeff Gordon's back on the track. Like 2016 when he was back on the track, I was rooting for him hardcore. I was like, I know he hasn't been in the car in a while, but man, let's go. And then he 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 had a pretty good Martinsville race in that 2016 season. He was running top five, ended up finishing sixth. Uh, led some laps at Bristol or Dover, I believe, in that 2016 season. But dude, anytime the GOAT can get back in a race car, I'm pretty happy. So let's go. Uh, thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed and you want to see more NASCAR stuff, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I have finally finished my notes for Star Wars Rebels. And I'm going to film that in the morning. I'm going to edit that tomorrow. Depending on how long editing takes, it could be out tomorrow. If not, it'll come out Saturday or Sunday. And then Friday, we'll do the normal Clone Wars stuff and then any other breaking news that happens in between there. Dude, I'm happy.